Hi guys, it's Joel here from SnapRevise to give you my top five tips for effective A-level physics revision. My first tip is one that can't be stated enough. Practice questions. You'd honestly be surprised how often the same questions come up over and over again in one guise or another. Don't miss out on a chance to essentially get some free marks. Regardless, by trying them and then looking at the mark scheme, you'll be able to see exactly what the examiner wanted and where you may have missed out, which will help later questions. You'll eventually start to learn examiners speak and can decode exactly what they want you to answer from the question and how they want you to do it. You could even just bullet point what you think the key points you'll get marks are for the longer questions. If you've missed one, you've missed a mark. However, remember that some questions award marks based on the quality of your written communication, so don't neglect, don't neglect that. With numerical problems, you want to do as many as you can so you'll make mistakes now rather than later. They happen to us all. Catch yourself doing them during revision so that you won't make the same mistake in the exam. Once you feel comfortable, start doing whole papers under timed conditions. It's a very different experience to answering questions at your leisure. My second tip is that the formula you need to use only gets simpler with practice. So when revising a topic, play about with every equation you have, writing it down from memory, remembering what each term refers to, practicing rearranging it, even writing down the units involved. Anything to make sure that it sticks in your mind and you know how it works. This will help you understand the qualitative parts of the topic too. My third tip is to try explaining things. Pick a concept from a topic you're revising and see if you can explain it to someone or even just yourself. Helping someone else understand is one of the best ways to commit something to memory. More importantly, if you can't, perhaps you don't understand it as well as you could. Keep reading until you find an explanation that works for you and them. My fourth tip is to revise in context. Flashcards with facts are great, but make sure you see the bigger picture too. Occasionally go back to reading about important experiments or concepts in your course book. You might find you notice something you didn't before. It'll also help you remember how facts fit together. If you get confused, go digging on the internet or in a helpful book or ask someone until you're not. Once you understand, you'll find you remember everything much more easily. My fifth tip is to know what you don't know. There's no point revising something over and over again that you already get while you've forgotten about a topic you're not so clear on. That means trying the tips above, practicing questions, attempting explanations for everything you need to know. Don't just trust that you're okay on something because it might turn out you're not. Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level physics videos, just click the snap revised smiley face. Join me today and together let's make A-level physics a walk in the park.